Prompts are what help you in communicating with AI and get your answers on the front end. But what goes on in the back end is a different story. Your AI might be using a prompt of its own to collect data or filter through technical processes. In Agent Force, this is possible with the help of prompt templates. So we can say there are two AIs at work. Keep watching this video to know how. Hello everyone, I'm Shrey Sharma, your Salesforce Hub. If you have watched my last video on Agent Actions, I covered flows and apex to strengthen our automation game. In this video, I'll be exploring how prompt templates can be a game changer for your AI agents. Prompts basically enable natural language processing by generating human-like responses using LLMs. They're important in agent actions because they help agents understand and respond contextually to any user query. By calling prompt templates within actions, your AI agents can summarize data, draft messages, or answer questions dynamically using real-time context. So let me show you a quick demo to combine prompts with agent actions. Let's dive right in. So now in this scenario, we're going to call a prompt template uh, using agent force action uh, in the agent force. So here's the case record uh, where the credit card transaction issue has been reported and the record has been created over here. I'm going to use a prompt template to summarize the, uh, like the case record which is over here. Uh, in the agent force action. So to create a new prompt, we're going to go to setup, search for prompt builder, create new prompt template, select the prompt template type as flex and the name as credit card summary uh, or credit card case summary prompt. And the source would be subject. Status. Created date, and the last one is description. In the source type, we have three options uh, out of which we can choose any one. Uh, first one is object, another one is free text, and third one is data model object. So the difference between object is uh, if you want to use any objects record as a source, you can select object. If you want to use any uh, text, uh, then you can use free text. And if you want to use any uh, uh, data from data cloud, you can use data model object. Right now, all of the information that we're getting uh, is in the form of free text only. So we are just using free text in all of the sources. And we are hit, uh, then we'll hit next. Now we're going to add the prompt instructions here. You're a helpful banking assistant. Your task is to summarize credit card dispute case filed by a customer as they can quickly review the current status. Case, based on this case, generate a clear, easy to understand summary in bullet points, which should include following inputs. Uh, so we're going to add all of these inputs in here. So uh, in order to add all of the inputs in here, you just need to click onto the plus uh, icon provided over here, and you'll be able to add all of the inputs uh, in the, like in, in here. Now click on, uh, like click on the plus uh, icon, go to free text, and then you can just select all of the inputs uh, which we have selected earlier also in this uh, prompt response. The LA model that we've selected over here is the OpenAI GPT-4 Omni Mini. And in this prompt template, we have said, uh, like we have, uh, I mean, asked the prompt to get some details from internet as well and uh, also provide the expected time of the case uh, in which the case will be resolved. Now we're just going to activate, uh, like save the uh, template and then just we're going to activate it. Now let's go back to the agent that we created uh, earlier. The name of the agent is bank agent. Now we're going to create a new topic in the same and The name of the same uh, is going to be case information. Hit next. So it has already created a lot of description, scope and instructions over here uh, with the help of AI only. 
we we want to mo- modify all of them one by one so we just go to remove all of it and then add our add add description scope and everything of our own so in the description we are going to uh, add this topic is used when a user wants to check the details of their credit card dispute case we'll first ask for the case number once the case number is provided we will call an action to fetch the case details and in the scope uh, which is going to add your task is to collect the case number from the customer once the customer provides the case number trigger an action to retrieve the summary of the case record we'll first remove all the instructions that are already created over here and uh, we'll add our own instruction and the instruction the first one that we are adding over here is if a user wants to check the status of their case first prompt uh, them to provide the case number now another instruction that we have added over here is once the user provides the case number call the fetch customer case uh, quotes action to get the case record and display the details so this is the action that we are going to call uh, i mean to display the case record to get the case record and display the details so now another instruction that we have added is once the user provides the case number call the fetch customer case action to get the case record and display the details this is a uh, a flow that we have already created to fetch the customer uh, case record details now we'll hit next and now we'll hit finish i will move to the flow that we have already created uh, the name of the same was fetch fetch customer case uh, now what this flow is doing is uh, we are just passing case number as an input and it is checking whether this case exists or not or whether this case is found or not and if the case is found then in the output status we are assigning the case and uh, providing the information as an output using this we have created an action which is again fetch customer case which is referencing this flow in this we have the input case number and the output as a fetched case which is nothing but the record and the output status uh, we are providing whether the case is found or not using the case number now we are going to use this action uh, into the agent uh, so we'll go to this topics action and we're going to click on new uh and then add from asset library we just going to search for it fetch customer case we'll just click on this and uh finish now this action is added and now we'll create another action from our pem- template which will summarize the case so we'll create a new and we'll create a new action the type is going to be flow nay nee. the reference action type is going to be prompt template and in the reference action we'll select the credit card case summary and the agent action instructions we are just going to add the instructions as this prompt is uh, this prompt template is used to generate a custom case summary and in the loading text uh, summarizing case now in the inputs uh, i'm going to provide the instructions like in the created date we need to pass the fetched case created date in form of text example uh, 12 june 2025 and uh, we're going to uh, now the data over here for, will be provided from the flow hence we are not going to select uh, the collect data from user uh, checkbox in here and in the input description you need to pass the fetched case description and the subject uh, you need to pass the fetched case subject now in the prompt operation output language uh, so we are going to just add english as a language over here you can choose it as per your choice now in the prompt response we'll add case the case summary generated by the action 
and we're going to like select show in the conversation and we're just going to hit finish. Now another action is also added into this uh, topic. Now I'll add, uh, like edit the instruction also uh, for this particular topic. So over here, we're just going to add, add, uh, and then call credit card case summary action to generate the detailed summary of case. And then we're just going to save it. Now let's try it. Whether it is working fine or not. I have my credit card case pending. I want to know the status of the case. Now I'll just ask uh, ask the case number and I'm just going to pass the case number as following. And just hit enter. It's saying fetching case and then now it's summarizing the case. And now here's the summary. So it has basically called two actions over here. First action is the fetch customer case which is just fetching the information uh, for the customer case uh, record with the help of the flow action that we created. In the input, the case number is there. In the output, uh, all the case record information is there. And after this, uh, it is again calling another action which is credit card, uh, credit card case summary. So all the inputs are provided to it and uh, accordingly the output has been generated. Which is generated by the LLM that we chose over there which is open, uh, open AI whatever 4.0 Omni Mini. And, he and here's how it, like it shows the summary of the I mean case record and that's exactly how it works. So that's how we can use prompt templates with agent actions to deliver faster, more accurate responses. That was all for this demo. I hope you understood everything. If you have any question, you can ask them in the comment section below. And if you need some help in building and implementing such agents in your organization, you can check out our agent force implementation services at Syntexa. I'll leave a link below in the description. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and share it with someone who might need it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Liked what you saw? Well, there's a lot more and I can send you a curated playlist of trending topics, Salesforce updates and training essentials. Join our newsletter and get your weekly package of exclusive Salesforce content straight to your inbox. The link is in the description. Don't miss out.